The Juneteenth celebration will take place at Bayard Park this year. Philip Baker is here with uh, all the details. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How long have we been doing this celebration? Because I know it's been in different spots throughout the years. Yeah, our organization, and this is our fifth year doing the hosting the Juneteenth. And what's the idea behind it? I know, of course, it is a celebration of that historic moment, but the idea for your event is? All right, that we want to celebrate and host and highlight and showcase um, local nonprofits and local small business owners with our, with our event. So we focus on some entertainment, but also want to bring in and showcase um, small business owners from all walks of life and also bring our nonprofit community partners in to the neighborhood and let them showcase the services that they provide. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity to yes. get to kind of rub elbows with all the different people and yeah. even for the vendors to meet each other yeah. is a great way to build a friendship. Yeah. So how do people, can we still sign up? Yes, okay. yes. Um, through our Facebook page, EVV Juneteenth Block Party. Um, celebration yeah EVV Juneteenth <laughs> block party uh, is there's a link to our um, online form to register as a vendor um, and along with information about the vendor fees okay simple yep simple extremely simple yeah and that'll be on the 15th yep next and, Saturday and what time does it start uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. well that's a good long run yeah it is so, and of course, you'll have the neighborhood right there, but how has, it, how has it been in the past? Has it grown each year? Yes, yes. It started out with around 14 or 15 um, vendors uh, selling crafts and food, and it's grown each year. This year, we have uh, 34 food and um, nonprofit organizations that are registered for the event. And I just got a notification just sitting here of, of two more other people that signed up. So it's continually to grow. And, it's, it's been a beautiful thing. Well, and then you'll probably get some more phone calls after this, too, because a lot of people don't know that, that the nonprofit piece yeah. is available there. Uh, to, for people who don't know, give us a brief history, if you can, of the Juneteenth uh, moment in history. Well, the Juneteenth uh, is a, much like the Fourth of July celebration, but it's to celebrate when the actual, the last set of slaves down in Texas were freed by the military after the Civil War. And this was a good time, a, 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 what, a, how many months, years from the time the actual proclamation? Yeah, this was, was several years after. Right, the, the, before the news got yes, there. Yeah, right, right, yeah. It's, so. a bi it's a big moment for all of us, and so, so, certainly something to celebrate. Yeah. For folks who might want to be part of your committee next year, how do they reach out to you and say, we want to we want to help advance this holiday? Again, uh, the easiest way to reach out is going to be um, through email or through the Facebook page. Um, the email is evvjun19th at gmail.com. And you can call, reach us too, because it's, we have that information Impressive, as well. Yeah. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Thank you. I hope your your celebration is a big one. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be back with Stacy's weather right after this.